Hello everyone, and we're going to talk about your final assignment for this module. Your assignment is to create a registration form using HTML forms. Um, it's going to look exactly like this, so I want you to copy this exactly. Um, you'll notice a few things, and I'll give you hints down at the bottom, but it's got a first and a last name. These are text fields. They are required, so if I try to submit, it will not let me submit without filling out that form. I don't care what placeholder text you put in there, just puts like first, last, first name, last name, Jane Doe, whatever. We have um, radio buttons, and these radio buttons all have the same name, so you can only select one. I have an email, and you'll notice this email. Oops, let me put in something here so you can actually see it. If I try to hit submit, the email is validated, so you have to have an email. Go to hit, try and hit submit again, it won't let me because I have to put in my password. You'll notice the password has, again, placeholder text. All of the text ones have placeholder text. So if I try and type my password, it is hidden. I have a birthday with all of the months, all of the days. Now, I'm not going to be a stickler. If you pick February, I don't care that it goes to 31. I'm not going to make you figure out how to make February only go to 28. Just go all the way to 31. Um, there are ways to do that, but they're a lot more advanced than what we're at right now, so don't stress about that. Just go to 31 for all of them. Year. You'll notice here I made a mistake in mine. I need to go back and fix that. Um, so I'll, I will do that. But I've got a bunch of years on here all the way down to 1905. So lots of fun. Um, please don't hand type all of that. Duplicate, get copy and paste, that kind of stuff. You should be able to find that on the web without having to hand type that out. And finally, I have a checkbox. We didn't talk about checkboxes. I didn't show you how to do this. I included this because I want you to figure it out. A lot of programming, especially when it comes to web programming, is searching for things and finding them out on your own. So I want you to figure out how to get the checkbox. So for the hints, you're gonna use div tags for grouping. This is another thing we didn't really talk about much. I talked about div tags in previous videos, but we didn't specifically use them inside of forms, but I want you to. So let me look, and I'll show you a little bit behind the scenes. Inside the form are div tags. You'll notice each row, basically, is inside of a div tag. So you're going to have a form with one, two, three, four, five, six divs inside of it. And inside of those divs are where you're going to put your inputs and your labels. So you're going to have to use all these things. You're going to have to use text inputs. These are text inputs. You have to use a password input, you're going to have to use an email input, you have to use a radio button, you're going to have to use select tag, you're going to have to find a checkbox input and figure out how to do that. Check MDN, should not be very difficult. You're going to have to use labels for everything. All the things on here except the submit button need labels. And then finally you're going to have that submit input or a button. I suggest you use a button, get in the habit of using a button rather than a submit input. And finally when I submit this, I want the data to actually come up in the URL. You don't have to use the exact same keys I did. Like I used first name, first hyphen name for this, last hyphen name for this one, but you can be whatever you want as long as it actually does include it. So you need to make sure that you are actually submitting the data. Your form has to actually include all of the data. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.